What's up guys, welcome to another Battlefield 1 commentary, and this one we're going to be talking about something that is probably going to spark World War 3 in the comment section below, as it always will and always does, and that's politics. So, the elections happen, Donald Trump is now going to be the President of the United States in January when he gets sworn into office, and people are losing their shit, people are celebrating, people are leaving the country, and people are rioting around the country. Like, I never understood the sense in that. All right, like you own, like pretty much this is, this is the, the mindset behind them. I'm pissed off, Donald Trump is president. Let me go do something about it. Huh, what should I do? I know what to do. Destroy my own neighborhood. That's gonna get things solved. W where's the logic in that? I, I just don't understand. That's like, that's like me. I, all right, so I own my own house. That's like me being like, I fucking hate the government, and I just fucking, <laughs> I put gasoline all over my house, and I just throw a match, and I'm like, they'll get the point now. <laughs> what? What? How are they going to get the point? They're not going to get any point. You know, it's just, it's it's stupid. But, um, you know, I think everybody needs to chill the fuck out. I think we all just need to sit down, throw back a few shots, or hell, just sit down, smoke a bowl if that's what you want to do. Uh, sit down and meditate if you don't drink or smoke or whatever or sit down and just watch a movie or so I don't know just chill the fuck out all right Donald Trump is our is gonna be our president now there's nothing you could do about it no matter how much you bitch and complain and moan and call Trump supporters retards and Trump supporters called Hillary supporters retards and then the people who supported other people call them both retards and then we all call each other retards and at the end of the day we're all retarded. What happened to the days where we used to, you know, respect each other's political opinion? Like, for example, he's voting for Hillary, she's voting for Trump. They're not calling each other retarded, they're just saying, hey, you're exercising your right to vote, so am I. I'm going to vote for Hillary with my information that I know about her. I'm going to go go vote for Trump with the information I know about him. And then they're just like, yeah, you know, maybe you should try voting for Donald Trump. And then, you know, they have an actual conversation about it without being like, you're fucking stupid, and like punching each other in the face and like poking their baby's eyes out or whatever. <laughs> like, can we just... What happened to those days? Like, everybody freaks out that everybody doesn't have the same opinion as them. It's, it's so, it's, it's, it's laughable at best. And then, um, like, it's just, like, the, oh, it's just, it's so frustrating. That, that's like what the political season does. It, the elections show the worst in all of us. It shows how much we could divide ourselves and how much we could hate each other instead of working with each other for a better future. But, you know, it is what it is, and I always say that. That's, like, one of my favorite sayings, and um, it, it's not what it's not. It's just how it's always going to be. Uh, you know, how do I feel about Donald Trump being my president? Um, I feel as though it's going to be fine. I'm going to continue to live my life the way I've always lived it. Monday morning when I wake up, I'm going to go to work, and that's going to continue to happen for the next however many years I may work. I don't know, maybe one day I might roll down the street get hit by a semi and then i don't work anymore you know my point is is that shit is gonna continue going as it's been you know it's not gonna it's not gonna be a drastic change people think now that donald trump is gonna become president as soon as he takes office the stormtroopers are gonna be in the street like shooting illegal immigrants and grabbing people's pussies like it's <laughs> it's not gonna be like that the media really makes everything seem so much more terrible than it is. I mean, just just looking at some of the, the feeds, like the news and the videos of uh, the Hillary supporters when they found out that she lost, you would think that there was like a mass shooting in that stadium. You know, like I get it, you know, you, you voted a lot, you, de you devoted a lot of time and effort into her and you voted for her and you want her to become president, but it's not the end of the world that she's not president and it's not the end of the world that Trump is president. You know what I mean? It, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be all copacetic. Everybody's gonna be great, you know? Uh, he's not gonna fucking deport every immigrant in the United States. I mean, if you're here legally, you should be good. You're gonna continue to be here legally. If you're here illegally, then there's the problem. That's where the problem occurs, hence the word illegal immigration. And for all you guys, like, want to move to Canada, uh, Canada's immigration laws are, are a lot stricter than ours, so good luck with that. Uh, so, I mean, at the bottom line, in this video, I'm not saying I support Hillary or Trump. 
I don't support any of them. You know, I, I, I think all candidates and presidents do the same thing. They all come up, they make all these promises, they talk their game, and then when it comes time to actually doing stuff, they just fuck it all up. So, I mean, that's just how I feel about it. Your opinion may be different, and you know what? I'm not going to hate you for having that opinion. That's that's the differences that make this country great, is it not? So, that's how, that's how I am. Like, that's how I feel about Trump being president. He's just there. He's another president. Congratulations. And America got a new person in charge of everything. And even though he's not really in charge of everything, there's like checks and balances. And there's a lot more shit that goes into the government than just the president. I think people have a misconstrued view of of how the presidency works. They think that Donald Trump is just going to sit in the office and be like, huh, today, anybody who's brown is no longer American. And he puts it on a piece of paper in red crayon and then signs it in pencil and, you know, doesn't even like color within the fucking lines or something. And uh, it's now law. And the U.S. military just goes around and starts throwing out every brown person. First of all, for anybody that ever thinks the U.S. military would turn on its people, you are heavily, heavily mistaken. Uh, being in the military myself, being around all the guys I know, that shit is never going to happen. Being, seeing all the higher-ups and everything like that, that is never going to happen. It's just not. You just can't. You will need the 100% support of the entire military for that shit to work, and that shit ain't never going to happen. So... The whole point of this video was just to tell everybody, chill the fuck out. Like, just chill out, man. It's not it's not as bad as everybody's making it seem who didn't like Donald Trump or didn't vote for him or whatever. Life, life will find a way. That's just the, the, the fucking famous ass Jurassic Park saying. Life will, life will find a way. Hold on to your butts. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Let me know what you think about everything, alright? Let me put your comments in the comment section below you know i'm not the smartest man of them all i don't know everything there is to know about the government and honestly in the last four years spending in the marine corps infantry has really dumbed me down because all i need to know is what my job and that's what i've been focusing on so um you know there might have been some things in this video i got incorrect so whatever correct me on it if you if you see it point it out just let me know in the comment section below all right so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did click that like button favorite this video subscribe if you're new here there's gonna be a lot more commentaries and gameplay and all that shit coming in the future so till next time guys peace